there is evidence of real improvements to patient safety when asset tracking and RFID technology are used to match patients to their care. These include reduced medication errors, reduced risk of wrong site surgery, accurate track and trace of surgical instruments, equipment and other devices, and better record keeping. Using coding to manage supplies and purchasing electronically can cut costs dramatically and improve efficiency. In this programme we speak to Roger Lamb, Healthcare Sector Manager for GS1, who tells us why RFID is of benefit to patients and in the purchasing and supply chain of healthcare. David Lyon from EPC Global explains why asset tracking will ultimately change the healthcare sector for the better. We also hear from leading asset tracking innovators Belden, Sonator Technologies and Extreme Networks who talk about their innovations and services designed to improve patient and staff convenience as well as an improved return on investment. RFID stands for Radio Frequency Identification. It's a way of identifying things uniquely but it's using radio waves as opposed to light waves in the way that we would use to identify something that was the number that was in a barcode. RFID means that you can identify more things more quickly from further away. One of the benefits to patients is that you can put an RFID chip in, for instance, a patient wristband. That means that you can identify the patient from a distance which means you haven't actually got to touch the patient, which means that the potential for spreading something like MSRA is reduced, but also it means you haven't got to move the patient if he's lying on his wristband. And you can identify that patient by reading his wristband through his bedding. So if he was a Burns patient, for instance, you wouldn't have to move him. Well, staff can, can use RFID to identify uh, items within the hospital to find assets perhaps. Nurses spend a lot of their time looking for things and not being able to find them. So if you had a tag on trolleys and valuable items like pumps and ECG machines, you then would then know where you last saw them and therefore you'd know where to go and find them. Asset tracking is where you would use an electronic product code which is very similar to the number plate on a car, a unique number. Put that number on an RFID tag, so that will enable you, when it's read, when it moves around the hospital, to track where that intravenous pump or that assistive product is or where it last was. So, for instance, when a nurse is looking for an item, they at least know where it last was, and that's going to reduce the amount of time spent looking for these things and possibly freeing up more time for nurses on patient care. Belden is the world's largest wired and wireless signal transmission solutions company. With offices around the world, a turnover of 2.1 billion, we specialise in the infrastructure, industrial, enterprise and healthcare market sectors. With a long track record in healthcare, we have a very good working relationship with global medical equipment manufacturers and this helps us to develop the intelligent building along with seamless infrastructure. The Trapeze Network side of Belden specialise in real-time location services which provide mission critical, secure, manageable wireless infrastructure for asset tracking. The intelligent building is about the integration of many different systems into a single cable infrastructure. For example, CCTV, access control, heating, ventilation and air conditioning systems, as well as nurse call, patient entertainment systems, high definition video facilities and importantly RTLS. RTLS is important within healthcare because it allows you to be able to track, locate and manage medical equipment, staff and patients. It also allows you to be able to track any Wi-Fi device. Now this is important because it reduces the amount of infrastructure needed in the building, it's easier to maintain and manage, it reduces CO2 levels and power consumption and it reduces material waste. The financial advantages are split in a number of areas. There are considerable savings to be made by a single architecture at the build cost stage and these significantly reduce the cost and also meet the customer's expectations. 
Another area is in RTLS. A third of nurses spend 40 hours per month looking for mislaid and lost equipment. And this equates to £900 million of the NHS's wage bill every year. On top of that, a further average of £200,000 is spent by departments replacing equipment they are unable to locate. These include things like IV pumps, heart rate monitors and beds. RTLS becomes more important as interward loans grow and care extends out of the hospital. This puts huge pressure on budget holders to ensure that equipment is maintained and serviced to avoid legal action. This adds real value, cost savings, easy management and improved patient care. Belden, together with its leading wireless brand, Trapeze Networks, is the only vendor in the industry to offer a total enterprise network solution that has solved one of the most challenging elements of future infrastructure requirements, that being seamless wired and wireless integration. The Belfast Health and Social Care Trust was formed in April 2007. It was the merging of six trusts across Belfast, which employs nearly 22,000 staff. It also services more than 340,000 people and to date is still the largest healthcare installation of Wi-Fi in the UK. Belfast Trust is a, a £1 billion per annum organisation. Most of that money being spent on staffing costs. We employ over 20,000 staff and we are in uh, six locations around Belfast. We provide healthcare services to the um, residents of Belfast and to the region. We use trapeze um, centrally to uh, support um, and, and a product called Ringmaster, which is our, our, our single point of contact for all our wireless devices, to um, support our location-based tracking services, to support Vasera and voice communications, to support radiology and x-ray imaging, and to underpin our data traffic which we are increasingly going to use for um, applications such as prescribing and order communications. We're very happy with the sales support and the technical support that we get from Tapiz, without which we would not be able to develop and depend on, on the service to underpin our wireless infrastructure. Uh, and also we've, we've come to think of them as an extension of our, of our local support. Originally, the pilot was set up to deliver bedhead prescriptions using handheld scanners. But they soon realised there was so much more in terms of applications that they could do with the infrastructure, such as improved communications, track and locate specialist staff, consultants, cleaners, but also translators for non-English speaking patients. The customer soon realised that there were more benefits and applications that they could use this Wi-Fi network for, such as computers on wheels, delivering MRI CAT scans to the bedhead, drug carts for bedhead prescriptions, using IP voice to give connectivity between A&E and image centre staff to improve the patient process. But more importantly, the benefits they got out of tracking asset to deliver the right equipment to the right ward at the right time. But there are so many more applications that they are yet to deliver. Belden, the world's largest supplier of wired and wireless signal transmission solutions, believe that intelligent buildings and asset tracking is key to drastically improving patient care and reducing capital and operational costs in the NHS. Even reducing by 5% the cost of looking for equipment provides a saving of approximately £45 million. This can be diverted back into patient care. By providing an intelligent infrastructure that integrates a lot of the key services such as CCTV, access control systems, heating, ventilation and air conditioning and RTLS, Belden believe the benefits and dramatic savings are all too clear and must be adopted within the NHS. EPC Global is the RFID arm of the Global Standards Body, GS1. Global Standards in RFID ensure the case like where a patient is transferred 
from one hospital to another with perhaps a wristband containing an RFID tag on it so that the other hospital will know that it's that particular patient because it can read the code that's on the tag but can also read that tag as well because of the standardised technology. The NHS should adopt EPC Global Standards because it ensures that, for instance, I'll give you an example in the supermarket where perhaps everyone might well know GS1 because we're the organisation that licenses the numbers that create barcodes that sit on virtually every product you'd see in a supermarket. So take that a stage further, if you have bought your Mars bar, for instance, and you go to the checkout, it's, it's scanned in and it's read as a Mars bar rather than a colour television or something. So that agreement and that, that supermarket's using GS1 standards, so that agreement between manufacturers and the end users of the products means that you don't get that confusion. The same can apply in the National Health Service. If you have the agreement that they use uh, a GS1 code for something, be it a pharmaceutical uh, product, be it a patient, be it an asset of some description, and it's agreed between all of the hospitals that, that, it, that, that they will use the GS1 system, then you've that increase of understanding, that increase of visibility uh, throughout the NHS. So again, it's going to reduce the amount of time that people spend looking for things, for instance medical records as well, it's going to really help there, a lot of time spent looking for medical records. Or in an emergency where, or for certain operations, certain applications, where, where that IV pump or um, wheelchair might be, or the bed at that particular point in time, it's going to help reduce the time spent looking for those things and it's going to help reduce the amount of money that's spent buying additional um, uh, items, additional stock of these things because you know where everything is. Interoperability is what um, the GS1 system will give and, and, and standards will pass on to the NHS. Sonitor Technologies is a company dealing with real-time location systems, better known as RTLS. We design, manufacture uh, and uh, sell this uh, equipment all over the world um, and we focus uh, a lot on the healthcare industry. In, in the healthcare industry it has several advantages and we have seen that uh, there's a lot of demand for actually improving uh, the processes and improving the business in this sector. We work through our partners in the different countries. It can be easily integrated with both uh, software and application and other equipment like nurse call systems etc which even adds value to those kind of systems. Ultrasound based uh, real-time location system is really unique because uh, it is using a mechanical wave ultrasound which is really sound instead of using uh, radio waves. And, and the clear advantage of using sound in this application is because sound moves one million times slower than radio, which makes it fantastic to use for location. Uh, um, and that's why we are doing it. It was uh, done after a very thorough study of all available technologies, and we landed on ultrasound due to this special feature. And this makes us then um, uh, able to determine uh, locations down to a room or subroom with 100% accuracy uh, and it is reliable of course which is very key uh, in this application. Um, that's why also we see the pickup of uh, using the ultrasound based technology in healthcare because when you're using a, a real-time location system you don't want it to be accurate 90% of the times or 95% of the times. You want it to be accurate 100% of the times because you don't want, you don't have time basically to run from room to room or from, from one floor to another floor. That is why ultrasound is so important and so right to use in this application. This RTLS technology is also ideal for protecting your equipment. It will, uh, of course, reduce your equipment cost, but it will also be able to protect you against theft because uh, you will uh, have borders in your building and you can have alarms 
going off when equipment is leaving the authorized area or even leaving the building then you will uh, be able to prevent that happening and you will be able to see you know when it is happening so you can take action on it uh, so you can both have automated controls and of course you can have uh, controls as part of your processes it can also function as an attack alarm and or a part of a as a uh, staff safety system and of course when you are in an alarm s situation either you can have uh, a belt clip which will uh, uh, give the alarm or you can have a button that you press, uh, press and it will uh, sound an alarm on the system and uh, the people on duty uh, will immediately know not only who it is but down to room level where you are and they can dispatch help uh, immediately and they don't need to run around and to find, find you. you, they will know exactly where you are. Why does reliable accurate location data with higher resolution matter. It matters because that's what you need when you want to, to have these, uh, I call it high value applications, where really both have uh, the safety uh, aspect, uh, the attack alarms. You really need to have 100%, at least room accuracy, but preferably even room uh, level accuracy or subroom, down to bay level or bed level. And this is one of the advantages that you will get with using ultrasound-based system. In Asia, I can tell you that we are uh, discussing with, with partners and with hospitals how we can use this technology really to protect the facility in the event of contagious or infectious disease in, diseases breaking out by using tracking technology to uh, isolate uh, the part which has been infected. So even, even that part is um, uh, possible to, to do with this technology. In this industry, you, you will see many different technologies bringing real-time location systems uh, to this market. But you need to make sure that you get a system that is uh, giving the, you the accuracy and the resolution of location data that you need. And in the healthcare sector, you really need a system that can determine definitely which room it is, which bed it is, that's the kind of resolution you need. Ultrasound-based real-time location systems are the best one to do, give you that reliable, accurate location data. We'll be able to have it as a sonator-only system, of course, provided by uh, one of our partners. But you will also be able to have it from our partners, which is embedding it as part of their solution where Sonitor becomes more like a Sonitor inside powering that solution. Wherever you see Sonitor as part of the solution, you will get a very accurate, very good system tailored for high resolution location systems. RFID will help change the healthcare sector by making things more visible. You can find them quicker. Again, if you take the idea that the EPC, the electronic product code, the GS1 data or information standard for RFID as a car registration plate and the readers, the RFID readers that are put into the hospitals to read these tags as almost cameras, you know where things are. So you're going to spend less time looking for them and are going to be spending less money because you know where your stock is. To me, that's going to be a huge step forward for the National Health Service. And again, if you use this in a standardised way, this isn't just within one hospital, it's as things are transferred between hospitals as well. Extreme Networks, since our inception in 1996, have been thought of as a strategic, innovative, forward-thinking company, providing simple, cost-effective solutions to a wide range of thinking customers across the world. Uh, we're a mature global organisation with a culture of partnerships with other industry visionaries that are also committed to delivering cost-effective solutions and flexible solutions to our customers as well. As we all know, information matters more when there's a life on the line. So having access to um, real-time applications at the right time is key for physicians, doctors and nurses so that they can make the right decision right away. Um, here at Extreme Networks we provide solutions that are uh, reliable, um, flexible and secure uh, and we help 
healthcare organisations and, and life science organisations deliver uh, those applications and that critical information in real time so that they can uh, quickly and effectively treat the patients. Every piece of essential equipment within a healthcare or hospital organisation is either mobile or on wheels. This obviously means that that piece of equipment can move from room to room, from building to building and in some cases uh, across campuses. Asset tracking allows you to have the visibility to control those pieces of equipment, whether it's the physical hardware, whether it's software through software asset management, uh, or indeed whether it's patients or staff alike. As we all know, the most important asset within a hospital is the staff themselves. Um, although, because of the nature of healthcare, we can't guarantee staff safety. That said, patient safety drives outcomes. So knowing where a patient is at all times, um, being able to control any unauthorised absences, having the right information about the patients and the right uh, medication and test results for patients is key and so um, communication and accuracy has, has become you know, a matter of life and death. Software Asset Management, or SAM as it's called, is a critical asset, sometimes more important than the technology itself. In healthcare sectors they will have departments that will source software themselves uh, and deploy it as and when they need. As an example, you could have one business unit with some software that's sat in someone's in-tray or drawer that's never been used, but another business department, normally IT, have, have you know, bought several different versions of this software and installed it when they needed to. This can be, you know, you, you first lose the, the ability to manage that. You could have that software from different vendors, there could be different releases of software, and it becomes costly and, and complicated to manage. Having control over the, the assets themselves, uh, being able to track equipment itself, being able to secure the policies leads to better control over that environment. If you add to that the complexity of having a paper-based inventory where you're relying on the purchase orders and the receipts and the license versions being correct and everything being in order, um, then if you lose any of that information and you transfer from paper to e-media at any stage, then you're effectively um, causing a problem internally because the information that you have is not correct and that can lead to further problems as well. And on top of that you've got the regulatory compliance such as HIPAA um, and being able to operate and control all this information within the regulatory compliance, within costs, within budgets as well is key to any healthcare organisation. A good SAM programme can ensure that all workstations within a particular department have the same version of software, uh, the same release, the same code so that uh, doctors and nurses and medical staff can rely on the information that's in front of them to help them make their decisions and, and ultimately treat their patients effectively. More often than not now in healthcare, um, a lot of the medical staff and the medical teams will have um, portable mobile devices, um, PCs and tablet PCs and be able to treat patients at bedside so they'll have access to medical records, uh, any test results. Uh, they might be doing any e-prescriptions and, and dealing with um, the pharmaceutical side of things from bedside too. Having a software asset management system allows the physicians to be able to focus on delivering effective health care and not have to worry about the information being correct in front of them because they could have a, a reaction between two versions of, of you know, a particular medication that they're giving the customer so they have to rely on the information that's in front of them. A lot of management executives in healthcare now are relying on SAM to help them through the process of installing new technology or updating their existing technology as well. I think we all agree information matters most when there's a life on the line, so having access to the right information at the right time allows doctors and nurses and medical staff to make the right decision right away. Extreme Networks help these organisations in healthcare and life sciences by providing reliable, flexible resilient network infrastructures that help them deliver effective patient care. Asset tracking and RFID technology, both for equipment and patients, is increasingly used by the NHS. Tracking assets in order to improve staff and patient convenience, as well as an improved return on investment and, of course, helping to prevent theft, has become a lot easier, even in a busy clinical environment such as a hospital, health centre or clinic. I'm Georgina Burnett and you've been watching Asset Tracking and RFID Technology within the NHS.